Hello everyone. This is second time to talk about finding the sample mean, variance, and standard deviation. So last video we talked about finding those values using the mean deviation. But this time we are not using the formula. Instead, we will use different formula. So look at this example. So the maximum number of seats in a sample of 13 sport utility vehicles like um, 6, 6, 9, 9, 6, 5, 5, 5, 7, 5, 5, 5, and 8. So as you see this data set, you know, many data are repeating. You know, before the previous example, uh, all the data are non-repeating data. Even though they were repeating not more than twice, but this time, many data are repeating more than two times, even five or six different times. So therefore, you know, if you just uh, organize each data one column, then you may write like a five case. You will you have to write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different cases. So instead of doing so, we want to collect one data set and then make how many repeat that's different formula basically okay so we set up this table also using that data set here so i'm gonna write all this one category of x he, uh, data here and then make how many repeat and then we calculate the weight mean and then uh, x squared times f later on we can find the sample mean also variance and standard deviation and that's the formula for sample standard deviation based on this kind of repeating data set okay which means inside the value here only inside the value this one that will be our sample variance but like our last video if you follow what we are doing and then that that question wouldn't be that hard okay so let's do it together okay the first step I'm gonna just select all the data and then just to put how many data repeat. So this time I'm gonna make an order. So what's the minimum data here? I can say five. So five is repeating one, two, three, four, five, six. So put six time here. F represent frequency, which means it represented five up here six times. Now six. Six appear one, two, three times, right? One, two, three, okay, three. And seven appear only one times. A appear also one time, but nine appear twice. Okay, so now I'm gonna find out their total and then also total of uh, total of the frequency of course total frequency must be 13 because we are selecting 13 vehicles now 5 appear 6 times so total become 30 6 appear 3 times so become 18 7 appear 1 time so just 7 8 appear 1 time so 8 9 appear twice so become 18 now you need to find out total of this column too okay so let's do it then you will get 81 here okay so next column you're finding x squared times f so don't be confused you're multiplying 30 and 6 again you are um, square of this value and then multiply 6 here so this case 5 squared which is 25 times 6 so the first blank becomes 150 here okay so the same thing so 6 squared times 3 that will be 108 you keep on doing so so you get those value and then like uh, what we did last column so we also combine this column that you will get five three three here okay then now it's uh, besides the last column i'm going to analyze you know what each column represent so this 
13 means total number of data, right? And then this 81 represent total sum of data. Do you know, do you understand what I'm talking about? So here, 5 appears 6 times. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 then become 30, right? Same as 6 times 6 plus 6 plus 6 become 18. So 5 appears 6 times 30, 6 appears 3 times 18, 7 appears 1 times 7, 8 appears 1 times 8, 9 appears twice 18. You combine all this, you will get 81. So this value represents total sum of data. Okay. Then now, sample mean. Sample mean means you're finding total sum of data divided by total number of data. Therefore, this becomes 81 over 13, right? You get that? So 81 divided by 13, then you will get mean value equal to 6.231. Okay? Now, the sample variance here, sample variance, and then now look, look at this formula carefully. We are multiplying total number of sample times sum of x squared times f, which means this time this. Okay, that's what I'm doing first. So 13 times 5, 3, 3. And minus, now, sum of x times f, which is this one, square. So 81 square over now n which is 13 time n minus 1 which is 12 that's what you are calculating if you do so you will get about 2.359 okay then now what's the, the standard deviation which means square root of the variance so square root of 2.359 if you do it the answer becomes 1.536 like that okay so this question answer is simple mean become 6.231 sample variance 2.359 and then standard deviation 1.536 that's the answer for this problem okay so um the next video i'm gonna explain how to find the mean and then variance also standard deviation using the frequency table okay